Well, Dorn didn't go as planned. On arrival, we found the mining guild under attack by a group of decently equipped miscreants. At first, I had assumed the attack was just an ill-timed raid by local pirates or an unemployed mercenary group looking for a quick score. It's only now, after the fact, that I found the group had plans on taking control of operations on the world, building a protection racket. How ambitious. Questioning some of the surviving leadership of the group revealed their plan to entrench themselves on world and siphon profits off the top while delivering cooked books to the local moth in this region. I hate to say it, but the plan would have worked if it wasn't for the mining guild's overconfidence in their ability to fight off the would-be pirates, and of course, the rapid imperial response. Being in the right place at the right time has its advantages. We dropped out of hyperspace beyond the rage of their jamming field, only to see the battle taking place. It also opened an opportunity. Under Imperial Order 667, I was able to request reinforcements immediately from the garrison of Bilbringi. While loath to aid, the fleet commander of the Yard had no choice but to acquiesce to my request. This has opened up an opportunity I could hardly slip by. With this battle group under my temporary command, as long as the threat is imminent and persists, it's time to pursue the pirates and negotiate that they leave the sector. And of course, if this arrangement happens to help bolster my own standing in the Imperial ranks, so be it. Nothing like some decisive combat action to help shine the old resume for Fleet Command. Now I just need a suitable target. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire War Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion in the gigantic map, which is really cool. This is the newest version. If you haven't played it, it's out. You can play it right now. Link, of course, in the description below. We are playing as the Galactic Empire. Commander Shed has st started focusing up in the north. Our objectives thus far... Uh, were to secure Doran, which we managed to do. We even punched through the... Uh, uh, how do you say that? Ut Utgetu Nebula? We ended up punching through the Nebula and taking Krildor, which puts us... Let me dig down just a little bit. Which puts us in an interesting spot. One, we're getting our space station online so we can help defend this. Vader and the fleet are already there. We even sent him to train Inquisitors. Surprisingly, they trained Inquisitors really fast. I don't know if that's a bug. I could have sworn it used to take longer for Vader to train Inquisitors when you sent them on that mission. Meaning you'd have to really make that call. Like, do you want to lose uh, his ship, uh, the Devastator, or do you want to hang on to it for a while? Because a free IST is a really big deal. But we actually got him back pretty quickly. Uh, Anshin, which is a farming world, let's turn on all things, is right there for us to go and grab. I did not turn on all things. Yep. 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 That one I'm not really worried about. Uh, Anshin is a agricultural world, so I wonder... It's got three ground spots. This planet has a high population value. Oh, high population value. Oh, that's clever. So, agricultural worlds may not make you money, but it does something that makes far more sense. Because you're farming on them, it ups the population you can support. Plus 16 if we take this. Our pop cap right now is 483 of 539, which is going to change pretty quickly. There were some fun comments. Other people have been playing on this map. They've been learning about it. One of the things that the Empire can do is, if we wanted to, because we've been focused on the core pretty heavily, Rothana can build old Clone Wars ships, like Acclimators. We can build a battle carrier right now. I think it's the only battle carrier, actually, that we can build at the moment. Uh, Yeah, until we take up. Yeah, until we take up, we get something like the Taunt Falk. Uh, which really wouldn't be a battle carrier, more like just a actual carrier or a logistics carrier. Uh, still, very cool. What's its weapon system? Two times four burst assault missile launchers. Uh, all right, pretty cool. Four heavy laser cannons. These are built into the hull so they can't be destroyed. Six dual point defense weapons. Uh, and that's about it. So good at taking down some of the starfighters. And the burst assaults. Hmm. What is that? Corvette killers? Yeah, that's not bad. That's that's really good support, particularly for what we've got in the core. The only problem, though, is that look where it is. The only hyperspace lane is near the Smuggler's Run, which is owned by not us until you at least get to mid-rim. We'd have to punch through... Oh, I don't even know. Uh, 
Rebel territory, maybe through Bothawa or through a lot of Black Sun territory. And Geonosis, though it doesn't show that it has a large space station contingent there, it's going to be a hell of a ground fight. So I, I don't know that's going to happen. And I imagine if we get a capital shipyard here, uh, we'd be able to build Venators. That's kind of the one reason I want to go over here is that I want to be able to build Venators. And I am kind of wanting to put down a large... Uh, a large uh, space station just to hold on to it a little bit better. We even have a Venator in orbit. So we got a Venator Acclimator, another uh, Acclimator. I said, yeah, no, it was an Acclimator too, wasn't it? Yeah, we actually was an Acclimator this time. An Aquintan's not too far away. And uh, a single Gazanti way back here over at Akio, which, what is your deal? This planet has high population. Ooh, we don't lose you either. Ugh. All right, you, let's dig in a little bit on this. I want to I hold on to this section. So when we hold the core, we might go for Smuggler's Run, take that hyperspace lane, we can get down here. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, we need to hold on to this though. So let's upgrade, upgrade the, instruction. not the barracks, no. Let's pick up, we're gonna go ahead and pause. Mm. Yeah, let's get an Building outpost started. here as quickly as possible. We'll get Training a few troops. more regulars to help hold. We are researching right now ground forces. We could get you rockets soon, potentially. Let's also get you a, whoops, we're gonna continue to invest. Let's get you a shield generator. Scarif, you have to have a research, right? Tech produced 20% faster on this planet. Ooh. Oh. If we're gonna invest in this area anyways, and we do plan long-term to hold it, that might not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and get a outpost Building here. Started. Scratch that. Building Let's upgrade canceled. the outpost that we have. Under construction. We'll pick up AT-AT heavy Imperial ground vehicles here. That's all of our cash in this region. And we'll save the rest that we have, which isn't much, for probably income. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wager, like put down some mines maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we can put mines down at Eridus. I'm not convinced we can hold on to it. Building it's only a thousand to get the first mine down, so let's go ahead and do that, and then let's focus on core world mines, on whatever whatever planets can actually take them, and we'll put like two grand more into mines. I think that's a good idea. Uh, Fondor, you're not really a mining planet. You know what it is a mining planet actually? Isn't um, uh, not Bis. Oh, hey, Bis can get the. Get the research facility to allow the beginning of the construction of the Death Star. Uh, no, that's not what we're here for. We're here for mines. We need money in this early. Fresha? It was Fresha I was thinking of, but it's also already tapped out on... What do you have on the ground right now, Fresha? I gave you a shield... Why? There, I gave you a shield generator, but you have no spots. That was dumb. Hmm. Yeah, unless I want to get rid of our, like... Governor's Palace here. What's our income on that planet? 44? Yeah, Governor's Palace, you're doing literally nothing of use. Let's go ahead and replace you with a series of turbo lasers. Yes, and then I'll I'll send out a unit to help defend it. That wasn't a mine. I was saying I was going to build mines, and then I didn't. Uh, I can't build... Dor Doran, can you get mines? What are mining planets? Should be one really close. There we go. There's a mining planet. Building I think we'll be started. able to hold on to that. All right, so we have 1,400 left to put down turrets if we need to. We need to pick our next target, and we need to we need to scout too. We should probably get on that. An Axis. Nope, not an Axis. Who was building our, our probe droids? Probe droids, let me get two. Unit and we shall action. unpause and hope we don't get attacked anywhere that matters. Rathal. Rathal, what do you do? Production bonus, 15% cheaper. Our heroes, 20% faster recruitment on this planet due to the academy for heroes specifically, but you don't have the hero recruitment, which I think is what, a moth palace? Hmm. All right, we have our first probe droid. I want to send the probe droid up to Ancient. Because it might be a real early, I can just grab that. Put us in a good spot to maybe chase the Black Sun out of here and connect up with Jaeger Miner and pull our Venator off of there and we'll have another shipyard. Because I can't imagine this back here is heavily defended just yet. If not, we might start making our way towards Smuggler's Run or just start building vessels to knock over uh, Mon Mothma's homeworld 
And I don't know, man. That's a that's a stacked. I have a feeling this planet is really dug in. Oh, it's got like the Taurus background. That's cute. Uh, what's your deal? You are the production cost on this planet for space stations reduced by 10%. The planet has a very high income provided by uh, the intersection between the Permillion trade route and the Hedian Way. Yeah, I can see that. You're right in the middle of two routes. You're going to be hard to take. You're going to be a beast. Once the other probe droid is up, I might send it over there. It's not Trindrilla that I'm really worried about. Bum, 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 bum. It is that place. Brintal 4. All right, let's see. How bad is it? You're not going far. Two victories, a Golan 2 platform, which this early in the game is pretty scary. And you've got, oh, look, they've got defense troopers and they've got old um, ATTEs and why? <laughs> why do they have droid companies? Uh, okay, that's fine. We have a mission. What's the mission? What's the op? Production facilities. We need more production facilities to increase our ability to assemble ground forces. Without them, our empire will start crumbling soon. Yes, more troops. That's what's going to save your empire. Um, Honestly, you're not wrong. So we need to build a medium imperial factory. Mm, what will we get? A heavy weapon team, which, I mean, it's stormtroopers, and we don't have very many of them, and we can't afford them, so... Yeah! Oh, we got another thing. Commander, we've received information about an enemy activity in the Ord Montel sector. I want to personally take care of the criminal threat. I want. Clear Mission the way. Oh. We have another mission. Imperial defectors. Okay, so Ben Asana wishes to hunt for rebel traitors in the Ord Montel sector, which is funny because we're actually pushing that way north. Conquer Ord Montel and retake Jaeger Minor if you lost it before. Deploy Ben Asana to the ground of Ord Montel. This is a new mission. I don't remember this back in the old campaign. Ooh. Okay, so where is... You're, oh, you're here still. And you wish to deal with it personally. Mm hmm. Is that the probe? Probe is still on the way. How big is the fleet right now? Two Star Destroyers and the most minimal amount of support ever. Also, Krildor. It's time you made me the whole reason that we took this place. You started making me some cash. Uh, defense is what a small, a small defense fleet, right? Construction complete. Yeah, small randomized defense fleet. We can't actually upgrade that, so you are very easy to take. Okay, Anchin, farming world. Oh, oh, really? This is all they've got, and a small defense fleet. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. We could probably take Ilum too. I bet you anything, they haven't even moved to Ilum. Um, at best, what would be at Ilum? Maybe some salvager teams. If anyone at this point, we might have an early grab. We'll send a freighter to scout first because no yes. one will expect Construction complete. a freighter to be housing a ton of ground forces. And Doran still holds our ground troops. All right, Doran, pack it up. Everybody load up into the transports and begin to move out. I'm just gonna order, I'm so confident. As you wish, I'm moving you to engage right away. Anshin, making place for the north. I think this is a good way. We'll make place for the North while we continue to invest our next paycheck into another assault ship. What are you? Imperial Advanced Fighter Dockyard. This shipyard can build starfighters and small craft as well as loadout upgrades. Imperial Star Destroyer 1 Fighter Upgrades. Uh, fighter Upgrade for the ISD 2. Victory Star Destroyer Fighter Upgrades. Oh, so this is going to give us stuff like Upgrade Raider Corvette. This is gonna give us TIE Scouts, Acclimator Fighter upgrades. Ooh, the XG-1 Starwing, that's a cool ship. Uh, well known for its rocket or its missile capabilities, which is weird. Uh, ooh, that's very tempting, but, but what we need now is combat ships. Hmm, we need a lot of things. You know what? Didn't we have a space hero production? I thought we did. Are you the only space hero we've got? For 27,000 to get an ISD2. Yikes. It is Nita. Uh, all right, let's just go ahead and continue to fight. And 
I don't know. I don't, maybe another ISD, honestly, to punch through this. Maybe we go heavy into TIE Bombers to take out the Golan platforms. We need to knock the shields out before we move the ISDs in range. They are going to get slapped. Oh, it's going to be costly. You know what? I'll I'll order two. And then maybe we can get you guys to go in. I'm thinking about the next battle in the core. That Golan 2 is going to be scary. Like, victories could do it if they could have enough time, but nothing I have can just sit there and eat IPV heavy Golan fire for that long. Location confirmed. This, on the other hand, a large space unit heals slowly over time, but will not repair to spread hard points. Starfighters must be... Must have Astromex in order to heal. Okay. Weird little little tutorial pop-up. We're on the mid-rim. We've launched our patrol group. Gorgeous skybox. Whoever's doing their skybox work. Good job. Awaiting command. Advancing. Far cry from the vanilla Here's game. Your All right. Awaiting your command. Hold off. Uh, we have a gravity well keeping us from getting any closer. So let's drop in the ISDs. Moving to coordinates. <sighs> that Imperial life. And we'll put another ISD here. Yes. There we go. Got to get a lot of value out of Vader early right now. What is it, General? Go ahead and start moving. Get your position, and then Combat I will bring in the victories initiated. in the middle. Yeah, we don't have any bomber support in this fleet. Cut literally just ties. All right, fleet. Start moving up. Dreadnought. I know you're slow, so I'll try to get you as close as I can. That's full, full group. All TIE fighters. Let's move. You know what? We'll just move you as a formation. You should be able to deal with this fatty quickly. The space station here has become a problem. Bum, 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 bum. I wish we had a proper Galactic Civil War era like Sandbox MMO. I would love to see guilds own like an ISD. I, we've never seen it. Enemy forces we've ahead. never seen it and I would love to. We have one bomber. Bomber standing by. Oh, because he came with the um, the TIE Punisher group. Yeah, I'll meet you group too. Why not? Bomber squadron reporting. All right, TIE fighters. We're going to fight within the defense range of the Star Destroyers. So we're literally going to intercept once they've engaged us. Victories are already opening up. Missiles are away. Good. There should be more missiles. There are two of you. Not quite in range yet. What you fired at? Laser cannons. I'm all right with that. Star Destroyer standing by. Destroy the space station. Both of you, bombardment. All right, ties. There we go. And now, while they are turbo lasers, they don't have the long range of our artillery ships from the rebellion side. I think the Tector might. What's the Imperial? Oh, ready for orders. Oh, we have two bombers. Bombers at the ready. You guys are grouped now. To receive orders. See how long you survive. What would be the Imperial equivalent to like an artillery? Uh, ship the missile that pain. isn't just, you know, yeah. diamond tip freaking torpedoes or whatever. From the victory. TIE fighters are engaged. They've also got all of the minimal point defense on all of these ships, giving them a little bit of cover. Sadly, we do have enemy point defense as well coming in. Uh, no, I'll keep going, keep going. You guys have got this. Hey, Dreadnought, I know this isn't really your job, but could you put a little fire on him? And uh, group two, that other group of bobbers is just dead already. Engage that. Wonderful. Difficulty tracking them. Pursue mode, engage. All of you, fire. Fire at the carrier. Take out his engines. Three seconds left. Switch fire to this vessel. Everything you've got. Oh, there he's got away. He's run. I wonder how many actually escaped and how many were freeze. <laughs> Random missile goes by. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh, we lost a character that fight. Okay, they must have focused it down or it got a little bit too far ahead. It happens. Ground forces should already be on the way for the third spot, so we'll be able to do the ground invasion of Ancient. That'll be a nice pickup. Particularly as we're building uh, these heavier ships that just eat build cap. 
Uh, we're only at 3,000 credits right now. Hmm. What do you produce for money? 119, huh? Let's see. That's going to take a minute. I couldn't respond to an enemy threat right now if I wanted to. They're so far away. Hey, Anaxis. How goes the production of um, ah, 30 seconds until our ground is done? And then I'm hoping... Yes, anti-armor platoons, because we have no solution to armor right now, except for AT-ATs, who I think we only have like a... No, we don't have any production of AT-ATs around here. Does, does no one have... I need to do, I need to do this upgrade so we can finish that mission. All right, when the week is over, we're going to do this. We'll wait. Hold. Get paid. Cut. Eh. Ah. Hey, there it is. All right, upgrades on the way. Just to double check, production facility mission was medium, right? Medium Imperial Factory. Okay. And that should give us ATSTs, I think. And yes, give me two platoons of heavy weapons teams. All right. Wow. Ah, we do not have much, do we? Let's have, um, yeah, let's have the commander drop first. You should be able to deal this pretty easily. Invasion commencing. And the invasion begins. Anshin. The farming world at the end of the Namadi Corridor. Shall be ours. Ooh, look at that map. Oh, uh, these are farming plots. I recognize this map. I think. Very cool. I love that we're fighting over where my campaign's taking over. Go, go, go. Oh, it's the 501st without having Vader in the field. So, the battlefield. You're leaving the battlefield. so if I bring in Vader, yes. <laughs> even more 501st. Uh, let's bring in the tie so we can scout this out. If I remember right, this map is pretty big. We've got lots of farmland. We've also got a capturable position. So 501st, Vader. I'll send you some APCs when I have the opportunity. You guys are gonna be my group one. Look at the 501st, go. Go get the mercenaries. Okay, actually we had enough time, so just load up. 501st is loaded up. My entire 501st company can fit in a, in my APC unit. Oh, that's good. Yeah, roll out quick. Vader's already on his way. We'll try to cover you best we can with the ties and give us some eyes. Let's see what they've got. They have an installation We've in the back. The enemy. Oh, you Boy, poor. Roger that. Poor random civilian group. Hey, we're here. Drop them. Yes, some so, Merc recruitment. I'm going to pick up. Hmm. Let's get Operating the warriors. Progress. Load it up. We're leaving. I will give you ATST support, but it's going to take a hot minute for them to get there. So pod walkers, AT, nope, AT. There you go. And a group of normal stormtroopers. No, a group of pods. Our mercs are here. Where's Vader? Let's not lose Vader. I'll send the mercs and Vader north. Use your sprint. Get up there quick. Let's take this out. How are you doing? You being harassed? Or are you doing the harassing? Oh! Oh, the pirates are fighting the locals. That's fantastic. Yeah, keep harassing. Oh, force choke. Why, Vader? Unnecessary. So these are the mercs we got. Oh, are they... Grievous's race? What? I don't know a lot about Grievous's lore beyond what we saw in the Clone Wars series. Come with me. Affirmative. Okay. Yes, sir. Normal stormtroopers. I'm gonna just have you move up to the edge of their installation. Tie fighters. Uh, you're fine. Yeah. Start taking out the building. How much damage you do to structures? 
Reinforcements will be there shortly. No interest in your feelings, Hell, Vader's gonna just set up outside of there. Oh, I love that we're gonna own this. I wouldn't mind fighting and holding this planet. Ah, oh, they're fast. That's not even using the sprint ability. Report. Bringing Relative. up the APCs now. I feel like we could use Moving. you up here. The 501st can deal with the rest of this. And then the support walkers. Eh, they're on their way. There's like a convoy going. They're moving at unit best speed, which is the stormtroopers. Because they're not in the APCs. Is it just me or are the APCs way more maneuverable now? And meaning they're way more useful. Yeah, pop your ability. We're gonna need some fire support here. Vader, would you uh, choke these guys? Wonderful, thank you. Whoa! Oh, okay, that wasn't the APC's health. That was the buffs. That was the ammo boxes that we dropped. What happened here? I gave them the attack move order. Vader's in there. I can drop pod walkers on them now that we've secured the entrance. Let's bring in the Inquisitor. Hey, Ties, how you doing? Fine. As the walkers are just messing everybody up. All right, all of you. Same deal, attack move. We're gonna come in from the side. We have an entrance way back here. Fantastic, look at that. That's, that's what you think of when you think of playing as the Empire. All right, pod walkers, we need something they can punch through armor. Your, your time has come. Shoot building. Uh, we should have won, right? They can't have much left. TIE fighters. Surprisingly, you guys survived to the end of the match. Oh, there is an Imperial abandoned heavy factory over here. I don't know what they have left, but I'm going to send the squad over there to go check it out. Somebody find me a target. The flyboys want to bomb something. Uh, we have Black Sun. We have a criminal element. Currently trying to evacuate the planet at a landing site outside of town. Oh, and they're actually going to be able to do it? Guys, come on back. You used your ability and then you just flew Commencing away. Because <laughs> I didn't give them an attack order. <laughs> there it is. The farming world of Anshin. System conquered. Where did right away I gotta put down an outpost? Hey, Krilldor. No, you can't build it. Corruption has been removed. I need to move can't afford the space station either. I need to move some scouts up here. Because I'd love to get connected to... Yeah, if I could go right through here, we hook up with Jaeger Miner. Jaeger Miner can make capital ships as well. Once we have that income coming in, we could be using capital shipyard here, capital shipyard at Bill Brangy, and a capital shipyard at Quat Drive Yards, which, funny enough, I can't really use yet. Do you have two... I do have an ISD that I built back here. We're gonna, hmm. If I took Skate, Skate, Skateco Miner, let's see what they've got. But if I took that planet, I might be able to do a blind hyperspace jump across here. Because this would be the closest world to here. And that means we could pull an extra ISD, a Victory, and an and a Arquintans to this front line. Oh, that might be worth it. The planet itself, eh, it's a Tabana Gas planet, which is great. Good income. Um, but I wonder, let's go ahead and pause. But I wonder... It only, actually, has, it has a four slot ground. I bet this is gonna be crazy defended. It's good income. It's got lots of ground slots, surprisingly. Can you build mines? That'd be too much. Large Imperial factories can be built here. Mm -hmm. All right. 
All right, all right. We're about to get paid as well. We got five nine right now. Uh, we're paying a lot of money into brown planetary oh, turbo great. lasers, a few large platforms. Most of our cash is actually going into outposts, which is worth it. I wouldn't change that. Yeah, group up. Reporting. We're gonna do something silly. Oh, you're doing that right now. Unit in production. All right. Uh, you know what? What is the building that's letting him build? It's, it's, is it seriously just like a barracks? Is it a, or is it the light factory? Standard Imperial factory. Hmm. That would make more sense, right? An Imperial factory producing probe droids. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you, you can have, um, mm, you could have my medium and my heavy. All right, carry on. I don't know why I went all French there for a second. That was weird. Hey, Vader. Upgrade complete. I know your support crew is pretty limited. Um, cheaper starfighter production. I kind of want you to poke one more world for me. Beginning Let's get a defense fleet there. What's going on? Oh, pr uh, the production facility is finished. Nice. So that should have given us uh, a fear increase and a heavy weapons platoon over at Coralog. So that would be you. You did get us a heavy weapons team. Mm, looking good. So the medium factory does give us the ATSTs. It does give us old sabers or TXs. Uh, and then AA. This is going to get more important. I'm going to wish I had this. You know what? Complete. I want you as an option. So we're going to go for an ATAA company. Particularly when I start seeing like Rogue Squadron fly around. Though... I'd imagine Rogue Squadron would be down in, uh, I can't get this yet. I don't have light vehicles too. I can't get the ATST. Is that grenade version? Grenade version. Hmm. Reporting. Oh man, I could go to a large factory, which would give us ATSTRs. Rocket version. Yeah, that's super useful. Hmm. First, first and foremost, we scout. I have two ideas on getting this fleet out of there. How bad is it? Nope, that is not the planet I wanted to zoom in on. How bad is this? What? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of the biggest ships available on the free market. Attached battle cruisers are the most prominent used as flagships, the Corporate Sector Authority. Yeah, we're gonna have to punch them out into the Outer Rim. They have comparable cap uh, combat capability to Imperial Star Destroyer, but also benefit from large hangars and anti-starfighter weapons, making them just better. And endure a lot of punishment, but low speed and bad mobility prevent them from repositioning or retreating. Hmm. They get two Planetary Defender Squadrons, two Arc Squadrons, two Warpod Squadrons. Warpod? and some skip rays. Skip ray blast boats. We can't win that. Oh, crap. Oh, weird. Okay, so they don't have a space station. They've got, I mean, they have the outpost, which gives them a very limited garrison of starfighters, but they have a old Providence in orbit. Our star destroyers can take that Providence. Starfighters, I'm a little concerned about. So, what we'll do... is we'll dump some money into some cheap TIE squadrons. Constructing unit. Constructing unit. Two units there. Two units here. Unit in production. Sacrificial. I need to get those TIE interceptors going. What do you think the next research should be? Let me know in the comments. This is tactical advice for my fleet officers here. Should we go for our light craft and get stuff like tie interceptors to give us a better fight fighting chance? 
because uh, we don't have anything for good point defense unless we go for uh, frigate. We go frigate cruisers, then we can start getting, you know, carriers, battle carriers, things like that, Tom Fox. Um, and start making our way towards Lancer, though I think Lancer is a tier three. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Hey, Vader, you did good. Uh, let the ground forces deal with the rest of that. I need you retasked back to the core. We are, uh, we gotta start a fight with the Providence. That is the system. That way we can, I think, get these ships out of here. I, maybe. Mm. Construction complete. Abilities for all space units recharge 20% quicker if we own this planet. That's good. Faster production. Tech is produced 20% faster. Ooh, and whatever tech we do next, if we can take this, uh, if we can take this, they've even got artillery on the ground, and they've got two droid works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, droid revolution upgrade tech. Yeah, they get super battle droids in that. Okay, taking that on the ground might be a bit of a, bit of a pain in the butt. Troops are moving. We should invest in mining capability. I'll put Building some more into started. this. Uh, I usually wish I would have taken Ilum. I, I can't give you, all I can do for Kroldor is build you like our Quintons in Starfighter. Unit in production. Here's your, that's your unit defense unit. In production. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting artillery and Starfighters. I hope it helps. Okay. I need more intelligence. Maybe not that much. Let's pop Unit one of those. Canceled. I need to keep at least a thousand for turrets. All right, Vader's on his way. Our ground tech is almost done. Yay, ground tech. I want ATSCs for ground battles. I also really want to get the ATSCs out of here. IPV That's why I'm, ma I'm making such a big deal of this. All right, Vader. Uh, I do have more starfighters for you. Let's group this all up. I've got bomber units for you from Coruscant. I would assume Feroz is like a hot nightmare of of core world, like rich. Yeah, yeah, golden platform. It's only one. And you've got that carrier. We've spied on this before. You don't have any ground forces. Man, you are, if you're playing as the rebels, this might, if you can really pull off a really cool raid, you might be able to take this planet from the core. Oh man, you'd have to deal with a lot of ground vehicles. But they're light tanks. So maybe if you've got the higher end raiding units, you could do it. That could be pretty fun. And then you'd have, and then you'd have a world in the core. One jump from Coruscant. What a weird campaign that would be. No, 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 you'd be, yeah. Yeah, yeah you could do that. What's the ground look like here? Yeah, but over here wouldn't be a thing. Not with droidicas and super battle droids. Eh. All right, Vader. Uh, we have a Providence to whoop on. I feel it. Uh, we're going to come in with everything. Maybe they'll get scared and they'll run away. I don't think they can because they're a neutral faction. All right. This represents some like... Some nobleman out here that's built his own little fiefdom. And we're going to go knock it over. Because he's not listening to the Emperor's wheel. One thing that I have learned when running a grand scale uh, Star Wars tabletop game is that if you're going to represent the Empire and you want the players to feel like they have a chance to actually win battles, because you're going to find your players are going to be really scared to start stuff Star Destroyer reporting with in. the Empire. Like, oh, well, we can't free that population because the Empire will just come and, you know, bombard it into a crater. You got to give the players a reason why that's not going to be a thing. Yes, Commander. Uh, and one great way of doing that Use is make the Imperial yes, Commander's goals fairly clear so that the players know how to mess them up. And also reinforce the idea that it's the oh, empire infighting and political really? vying, you know, vying for, for position are constant, right? They are not a unified force. Okay, let's find us a Providence. Welcome back to the Clone Wars. The, Let the Dreadnought go first. Oh wait, I you can use Brace. Uh, are you guys really doing this to me right now? Blast them. Reinforcements en route. Bring in the freighters. En route. We're being like pop shotted by a trading convoy and cannons armed. Attacking. The fleet's not countering. Oof. Goodbye. Enemies in range. Enemies in range. 
Grab those. We need that money. Nice. Pursue. Actually, don't even pursue. I'll just drop in front of them. Try droids coming in. Get in there, fighters. I think I misclicked. There we go. Roger that. What is what is engaging them right now? Ah, I think they're having a very similar issue. All right, fleet. Let's get into turbo laser range. I want that Tabana gas platform destroyed before that Providence get into range. I don't want to be wasting shots. Our gunners need to focus. Bombers. Yes, sir. Bombers, he's basically free and clear as it stands. Go ahead and move in. Uh, and we'll bring in you and... Yeah, I should have waited. We almost had that destroyed. Okay, TIE Fighters, full squadrons. Let's go ahead and move, attack move. Keep the fighters off of us. Bombers, now is your, eh, can't see, can't see. Go for the shield generator. You're the good, bo oh, no you're not. Oh, those poor bombers are just getting blasted. TIE Bombers on the way. They're in a flak field. You know it's bad when you miss having fly wings. Yeah, get wrecked. I will say the sound effect for the cannon going off for the Providence is great. We'll scan the area immediately. Hey, what do we got? Not much. You overload the guns, lay into them. Not that ISD's broadside well, but it looks cool. Makes you want to play the Black Sun. So I think I'm going to do, uh, we've been talking about this over on Twitch side of things, but I've been totally addicted to Remnant 2. Really cool co-op game. Uh, I think I'm going to do a streamed Black Sun playthrough so that I can get real-time, you know, advice and intel from people who played that faction a lot more than I have. Because there's so much to it now. Still a fuzzball going on over here. What are you guys fighting? What? Oh, you're, you're, um, ultra droids. Yeah. Yes, sir. Is that a, is that a freighter that we can blow up? No, it's not. What is it, General? So, uh, your fleet, dead. Chase him down. I felt surprise was wiser. Chase him down. Ready for command. Guys have been dispatched to intercept, but I think is the last enemy squadron. Falling out of formation. Awaiting your command. Go ahead and peel off. The courageous. That's what the game is named this ISD. Intercepting. All right. Perfect. Attack move. Ah, there's the space station. You guys, one objective. You fire at the space station. A donut lost its middle. If I can get the camera set up right here, we can watch the Imperial fleet move in. The echoes of the Clone Wars. I do wish they would have come up with a better idea for the uh, for the last three movies instead of just like the Empire Light, because there's such a cool vibe of having these generations of like you have the Clone Wars and you see echoes of it through the Galactic Civil War now because we have all that stuff fleshed out. You know the the shipyards you see being torn apart of the Venators and oh what the hell? Hey, excuse me, random fleet. Uh, you're a third party, just passing through. We'll scan the area immediately. Everyone, focus your fire. I'm worried we're gonna start losing freighters. I think that they're not cheap. Cruiser. Wonderful. Send in the. Oh, what? 
Oh, was that one of those ships that detonate? Do damage? How are they not? Retreated. Hey, interceptors. Oh, you have blue power to engines? Oh, man. Yeah, go find us something. Go on a patrol. Course set. Instructions received. We are firing at a lone We're having Corvette. Them. Out of formation. Sending you in. Reporting. The rest of you continue to explore. Not that you have great sensor. Let's start by. spreading out TIE Fighters. Let's move They've got something left. And it isn't the pirate faction, because they don't count on Away the victory the scale, I'm fairly well certain. Done, gentlemen. Oh, maybe they did. That was the last ship. Perfect. Did the plan work? Oh, I don't own you on the ground yet. It's gonna be weird because we might end up going back this way. I actually wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if we did. Hmm. I mean, we might be able to take, actually take this in orbit. Tough one. Tough one. Well, we definitely need to take this now. Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. We can get, once that research is done, did you already build the, the heavy? Oh, I haven't done it yet. So are, we have a couple of options right now. We could grab this and I can get the ATSTR, the rocket variant. I don't think we need a higher level of technology to do it, but it'll be an investment of 5,000 credits, meaning it's gonna be literally week 17's entire income. Um, of oh, just about, maybe a thousand more. We could do it. That means start building out an answer that isn't just infantry to enemy vehicles. They can take them out very quickly. Because right now the grenade launchers are great, but we have options. We have Imperial regulars and stormtroopers that can deal with other enemy infantry. What we need is something to take care of vehicles. So we could do that. Um, or I could go for heavies and try to get like an AT, AT or in this case, we actually get a garrison of a juggernaut with this building. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty fantastic. I thought we had a building that could make them, but I think they're... Yeah, I think they're much farther away. Ah, uh, you though. Now that we own locals... Okay, guess what? Mine, You're mine, mine, sorry. mine. We're just gonna mine the crap out of you. Well, we're gonna end this episode here. Let me know what you think of the plan. Gathering the force that's out here and maybe try to take this in orbit and then see if we can do an attack retreat from here. That could work. That means we'd end up at Coralag, and then we can have a proper fleet to punch back through. There's an ISD waiting for us, a victory class uh, waiting for us, and an acclimator. Also, proper ground forces. Look who's over here. If we can get through to, uh, to Veers, we can pull his ATAT -AT over here, his juggernaut, and actually be able to use, if we can punch through, use his production facilities over at Balmora to start fleshing out a real army and not this ad hoc group of whatever I've got. Oh, I want this so bad. The build pads, the mobile build pads, those are very good. Oh yeah, and the, um, the, the regular Imperial Army artillery. It's open top, so it's got almost no armor. I think they increased this thing's range since last time I played. I almost sure of it, 1000 max range, wow. All right, I look forward to reading your comments. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Oh, hey, and come join us over on Twitch for playing some Revenant. We've been streaming that a lot. What a blast that game is. Bye, everybody.